So I'm going to, inshallah, now give you a program. If you take it seriously, and I take it seriously because I have to take it more seriously than everybody else. Because if I'm teaching something that I don't take seriously, then that's the most dangerous thing for me. But if you follow this program, and I hope you write it down, because we want to follow in the footsteps of the Messenger of Allah. And our Prophet ﷺ said, I was sent to perfect noble character. Innama, according to the Arabic language, is called Adatul Hasri. It means the only reason I was sent was to perfect noble character. How do we do that? There are two primary concerns in Islam. The first and foremost is the heart itself, which is called al-qalb. It's also called al-aqal, al-fu'ad, al-sir, al-ruh. It has many names in the Quran. But primarily and foremost, it's called the qalb. And the basis of the importance of the qalb is in a verse of the Quran and in a sahih hadith. The verse of the Quran says, يَوْمَ لَا يَنْفَعُوا مَالٌ وَلَا بَنُونَ إِلَّا مَنْ أَتَى اللَّهَ بِقَلْبٍ سَلِيمٍ On that day, on the Yawm Al-Qiyamah, nothing will benefit the human being except the one who brings a sound heart. In other words, the only thing that's going to benefit you, it will not be your wealth, nor will it be your children, which was the jahili concept of what benefited you in the dunya. In the akhirah, Suddenly the criterion changes. It's no longer a dunyawi criterion, it's a ukhrawi criterion, and that is a sound heart. If you do not have a sound heart, then you better get one. If you do not have a sound heart, salamat al-qalb. And if we're backbiting, that's a sign we don't have a sound heart. If we're cheating, we don't have a good heart. If we're not fulfilling the obligations that Allah has commanded us to fulfill, we don't have a good heart. All of the things that distance us from Allah are indications that the heart has work to be done. That is the first and foremost concern of the human being is his own heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Inna sam'a wal basara wal fu'ada kullu ula'ika kana anhu mas'ula. The sound itself, the sight itself and the heart itself, all of them man has been made responsible for. Allah begins with hearing because hearing is the most difficult to guard. I came into New York City and I'll tell you something, going from Mecca to Jeddah was like going from paradise to the gates of paradise. Going from Jeddah to Morocco was like going to a place where I could see paradise off in the distance, but I definitely wasn't in it. And then getting to New York was like a descent into the bowels of hell. <laughs> and there's no exaggeration about that. Because suddenly, everybody around me was using foul language. Uh, it's unbelievable. The only time they don't use foul language is if they're serving you something. Everybody, I was standing in the, waiting for the bus, and I hear this pe two people talking, and I, I wanted to plug my ears. And that's what Imam al awzai used to do when he saw people of Bid'ah. And these people, it was so foul, every other word was a foul language. And the mu'min is, laysa bi bidah, in the hadith, the mu'min does not use foul language, nor should he hear it. You have to protect, because now those words ring in the heart. They ring. They have a resonance because you're hearing filth and it, you get polluted by it. So you have to guard the ears. And the problem, the danger of the ear is that it, it's, it's, it's aural, it's circular, it's not linear. The eye, you can divert your gaze. If you see something haram, you can look away. Allah has given the ability with the ear. And this is why in the Quran, Allah always mentions the ear first. Because the ear is more difficult and the ear is a faster and more direct line to the heart than the, than, than the eye itself. And then you have to guard the eye because the eye is a mirror. It's a window into the heart. The eye is a window into the heart. But first and foremost, the heart itself is more important than anything else that the human being has been given. And so we have to purify our hearts. And now, I'm based on Qadi Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi's 
a methodology, which is the methodology of the Messenger of Allah, this is how we do it. And it's not difficult and it's not complicated.